Okay, right. We are broadcasting live on uh, Spreaker. I'm using my my app thing, my, my Spreaker app, and we're recording the video of this. Uh, a few a few things. Squeaky chair. Nothing I can do about that. My hat is non straight, but never mind. Um, <laughs> and we're having a bit of a problem with the exposure, I think. Um, you're supposed to have a piece of, you know, when you use a proper camera, you, know, you hold a, a piece of paper up, and that normally fixes the um, the, the problem with the with the light. Um, but uh, it doesn't work on this camera, so um, we are where we are, I suppose. So I'm here to give you a, a bit of a an idea of of the research that I'm going to get a bit nearer. The research I'm doing, um, definitely we need, the, the, the light's too bright, isn't it? it it's too bright. <laughs> I'm the same colour as the wall. Okay, so, we are, or I am, working on different um, projects trying to connect them all if I can. So I'm working on the history of Television Centre and this was for my my dissertation at Salford which I submitted. Most of the data that I collected I interviewed people who'd worked at, at TBC. Most of that was collected on the condition that it would be anonymous. Um, actually, I, th I think even in the case where we, we got permission from contributors to use their names, I, I think even then we only used, I think, I can't remember, we only used their first names. So, so it was practically anonymous, even if people had given permission uh, for their names to be used. Uh, the problem is, and this is the, the nature of any any sort of essay that you write, but, but especially when it's uh, 12,000 words. If, if some people give you permission to use their names and, and other people don't, then you know, once you sort of do the mix and you write your, your final dissertation, um, it, it just can't, I, I can't publish it. I would have to sort of redact everything. So, so because it can't be published, what I'm doing with this website, woodlane.net, is is to sort of take bite-sized bits and to to publish them. Basically, that's that's sort of the idea. On top of that, um, the research I'm doing now, and I, I haven't finished with TVC and Shepherd's Bush and Woodlane and everything. That is ongoing, but because of the COVID, because of the lockdown, I can't do anything. The plan was to go back again and again and again to Television Centre and to you know, go around locally and talk to talk to people, but it, we haven't been able to for the past year because of the uh, the COVID. So hopefully this summer, um, if not in the autumn, we will return to Television Centre and would lay in and go to the libraries and and everything but it, it's it's just the way things are at the moment you can't really uh, do anything in this country um so i so i made lots of contacts and i, and I built up a uh, you know sort of a list of people who i can who i can talk to and interview and um it would be good to interview people uh, for these these podcasts but because of the lockdown, can't do anything. You certainly can't travel from Liverpool to London right now. So, so this is something we can do in the future. But I'm, I'm continuing my research. I'm calling it Phase 2. Uh, a bit, bit pretentious, but there we go. Um, which will be sort of the aftermath, or the aftermath, however you pronounce it. Um, it's, it's the second bit of my research into Television Centre and Wood Lane and su surrounding community. Hammersmith Park, my, you know, that is the, in my opinion, the best park in London. 
and the idea uh, will be to uh, to continue. In addition, I'm doing research on EAL students, teaching EAL students, um, and I'm looking at critical race theory. I'm, I'm also looking at, at, a, at a sort of a separate thing connected to digital spaces, because initially I was doing my research helping EAL students in digital spaces. But I've, I've, I've done a bit of a, an offshoot, a side shoot, I'm not sure what the word is, on that, which is to look at um, internet addiction and, and other problems concerning using digital spaces. So internet addiction, um, cyberbullying, and, and these are side issues that I'm doing, but it, it's all part of my big research plan, if, if, you, if you like. Uh, so I'm doing all these things, and I'm going to put the links on, on the, uh, the woodlane.net uh, website.